Hey y'all, in 4 h and h here. Welcome into the Gwinnett Amateur Radio Society's Tech, Tech Fest. It's a yearly Tech Fest uh, put on by GARS. The signs flipped around there from the wind. Uh, but uh, Gwinnett Amateur Radio Society Tech Fest. It's like a small ham fest. So let's go inside. Okay, so here we are inside. It's where you get your raffle tickets. Everything else is free this year. Your door prize uh, tickets. Uh, free everything's free free parking free event uh, Those are the giveaways over there. I see 7300 Looks like a couple of Asus computers 10 meter mobile buddy pole and a BX 3R Let me zoom in on that for you Apparently, some kind of benefactor is making this free this year. That's really good. So the only thing you can you really pay for are the raffle tickets. If you want to try to win one of those radios, but the door prizes, uh, you don't have to pay to enter that. There's the, those were the raffle tickets. So got coffee over there. Ve testing also free today. And uh, one of our soda friends, Ryan, WG4I, uh, his son took his tech and passed it right there this morning. Looks like they're gonna have a nice lunch for us. And here are the exhibits. I mean, I'm gonna head to, there's the Atlanta Ham Fest being represented. I'm gonna go to the soda booth. Summit's on the air. These are my friends. There's my brother, W4KWM. Uh, that looks like Richard in one RBD's AX2 antenna that he uses for soda activations. Summit's on the air. There's Ryan, WG4I. He's the association manager for Georgia for Summits on the Air. And there's Pat talking to Wayne. And Pat's a five times mountain goat. Ryan is a double mountain goat. Pat has helped so many of us in soda. Hey y'all, say hi to N4H&H Radio's viewers. <laughs> so that's Wayne, you, you've seen on the channel W4KWM. And Pat WW4D. WW4D, right? <laughs> That's right. Not to be confused with Daryl. And uh, Mountain Goat Extraordinaire, mentor to just about everybody here. He's like the great grandpa of all of us that do soda. So I uh, just wanted y'all to meet those guys. The North Fulton Amateur Radio. Club is uh, teaching kids how to solder. There's my grandson Landon. He's going to build a clock as he learns how to solder. He won that uh, hat as a door prize and he also won the fox hunt earlier. He found uh, a little HT that was uh, transmitting on a, on a 146.400 and uh, he used direction finding. To uh, locate that. Yeah, let's. I think we can see where those are. Maybe we can just. There's Richard in one RBD. Hey y'all. Uh, there at the soda booth. The guy was selling it on a QRZ, like 400 bucks. And uh, you know, I, I love it. I, uh, 
that's my primary photo radio now, you know, where I go out to a uh, like, you know, park bench or somewhere where I drive to. But that's still my main uh, summit radio and uh, you know, if, I, if I go hiking somewhere. Richard, tell us about that antenna. Uh, it's an Elacraft AX2 antenna. It's a 20 meter monoband, but you, with this you can convert it into a 40 meter. Ah, that's the one you ordered at the Huntsville Hand Fest, right? Directly from Eric. Yep. <laughs> and you're making him proud with that thing. And that was your mountain goat antenna, wasn't it? It was. And I had the honor of working him on his mountain summit. And this was my mountain goat radio. There it is, the mountain topper. That is a little bit smaller than the, uh, the four. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is very compact. You can absolutely fit that in a short pocket. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. But yeah, y'all, that's the famous Richard N1RBD CW extraordinaire, and he, he got into amateur radio, what, 2019, right? August 2019. Wow, and I, I had the honor of working him on his very first summit just a few days after he was licensed. And now he's doing like, what, 35, 40 words a minute? <laughs> I can rack you about 28 or 30. I can contest about 35. He even does mobile CW. And uh, he's also an instructor for uh, Long Island CW Club and also certified uh, by CW Ops, right? 25 words per minute, they said. Yeah. yeah. So, wow, y'all. This is, this is him. This is the guy you, you keep hearing me talk about on the channel. All right, catch you in a few. Checking on the progress of my grandson's project. I think it just went through a QC check. How did it do on the QC check? QC was okay. A couple, one joint a little out of joint. But uh -huh, that, okay. Well, good. That's not bad for the first time. That? And that's that's my KQ4EFL teaching Landon okay, how to so solder and build this kit. And there's your dude out there. all the, uh, the original messaging machine, yeah, before email, before fax. Okay, cool. Okay, there's my buddy Alex. I call him the voice. The voice of radio. The voice of radio. He's got a great radio voice, y'all. Uh, AK4 amplitude modulation. That's right. <laughs> there you go. And this is his friend Brandon, W4HDX. Yep. Lucky like hat. Yep. Get a lot of comments on <laughs> Good to see y'all here, man. Good to see you too. One time. Okay, Landon, let's check it out. So I don't know how to set the time yet, but. You know, we get and to you see seconds. That. That's cool. We get to see seconds and we see 59. Don't yeah. know why. See where or the how, trace goes. Look at that board there. there. Landon? And so, okay, so it turns out you did a good job, but the uh, but they had the the board is labeled wrong for the power. Yes, the board's labeled wrong. So like it says minus here, but we had to put the minus over here. It's on the left. Great job, okay. Landon. Okay, so, you know, I was teasing about letting the smoke out, but the truth was, because the circuit board was mislabeled, they were plugging the power in backwards, and it kept smoking the chip. But, uh, so now Landon has completed his very first project, learning how to solder. Look at those joints. Those are great joints, Landon. And uh, he now has a, a, a clock. That's yep. a cool project here at the Gwinnett Tech Fest. Very good job. Well, it's lunchtime, and look at the spread. We got hot dogs, chili dogs, all kinds of trimmings. And look over there, the annual chili cook-off, all different types of chili. This has uh, become a, a standard for 
the Gwinnett Amateur Radio Society Tech Fest. Okay, Landon's in the uh, helicopter flight simulator. Or anti rotor torque rotor control. And if you step on them and move back and forth, look at the tail. See the rotor in the back? See how it's moving when you move your feet? Without? So the torque would make the. Equilibrium and it goes sort of straight. Sometimes if you look at it, it's never perfectly straight and doable with it. So the pilot's controlling it and balancing it to work. So that's what this does. This is called the cycle. If you, if you notice, this is red and this is yellow. It's tilting it. Uh, and now move it forward and back. You want to move it back. your hand over the air. I know, right? Okay, so with that it would go forward, back, right, back. Exactly. Yeah, okay, okay. exactly. So that's what the helicopter pilot uses to control the direction. Now you got another one called collective. Now slowly pull it up and down and watch what it does. <laughs> yeah, I've got to have some kind of a problem. The control is the pitch. So I guess if there's ever an air emergency uh, involving a helicopter, we'll handle no one to do. Mr. Jules let Landon fly the. Uh, Drone simulator. Over here near the helicopter trainer. The Gwinnett Amateur Radio Society club meetings are held at the uh, local Experimental Aircraft Association hangar. And Joel uh, here, he's a member of the EAA as well as. Uh, being an amateur operator, he's a member of the Gwinnett Amateur Radio Society Club. Oh no, we're going to crash. No way. I'm impressed. <laughs> oh. you, you don't pass it out. You get the feel like if you're trying to squish your bug on the table. No, do it here on the table. Just like push down. That's kind of what you're doing. Do that same way rather than the captain. That makes you, you're doing it with these muscles up here. Okay. Uh, you got to hold it down a lot. Send the letter A. Just start out something. Okay, do it, make it a little, the, the dial a little longer. Do it again. There, there you go. I do a B. Dial it with the dial. Okay, now again, you're, you're trying to do this. You need to do it up here. You have a lot better control. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Okay, send the letter J. There you go. A good training program for learning how to send Morse code. Google U.S. Navy radio or code practice training film and take it there. And it, it dates back to probably the 19, early 1940s. Wow. It gives great instructions on how to send code and how to use a key in uh, the proper way of doing it. Very good. Well, thank you, Paul. You're welcome. So Landon's using a, a keyer called a bug. Paul, can you tell us about the bug? Well, it's a, it's a semi-automatic keyer that, that's going to make automatic dips because there's a spring action here. You get your dips. But then you have to manually make the dials. So just send it on the, this is for, I 
Like the letter J, the da da da. X. Make this Y. Y. Z. The letter, the number five. <laughs> yeah, like letter, a machine gun. Your E, I, S, H, five. Look, I did six wow. on Ten. that last one. And who made who made this key? This was made by Lionel. Lionel, the, the, the train manufacturer. The train. And they made. There was a designation on this, a J something or another. I don't remember the number. And it, it's from World War Two. World War Two. Yeah. That's very cool. school and this is our 10th year to be there we have the kids make projects every year we teach the technician class and we do testing in the spring we use uh, a transmitter that the kids made one year as our fox and we make we have a Yagi antenna for direction finding the kids made those as well uh, we've got one young man who's already got his license so while we're teaching the class He's working trying to get this restored so that we can have a vintage radio. We have a lovely base station that uh, we have set up. Uh, Gwinnett Amateur Radio Society has been very generous and provided lots of equipment for us so kids can get on the air. It's an after school program once a week and uh, we just try to pique their interest and give them good exposure to what there is uh, out there with amateur radio and have a generational transfer. And which school is it again? McConnell Middle School, McConnell in, Middle school. in Grayson, Georgia. Grayson, Georgia. And what's your name? You're, you're, My, I can't Gene see your Delashman. tag. <laughs> oh, sorry, KM4FEO, okay. Kilo Mike 4 Fox Victor Oscar. And our school club is uh, Kilo Delta 4 Tango Golf Romeo. Very good. Thank TTR you. TTR for Tigers and uh, McConnell Tigers. Hey, there's our friend Richard in one RVD. He's a winner. What is that, Richard? $50 ARRL gift certificate. Ah, cool, man. So you, you can get that antenna book. Yep. That's awesome, man. Well, congratulations. Appreciate it. Wave, wave by, Richard. <laughs> okay, there we seven go. 7-3. Yeah, 7-3.